This is absolutely taking a turn for the worse. We didn't have much water and no place had water. So I'll start going to the restaurant. You have to order a minimum price, like 30, 40 reals or more, depending on the restaurant. I can't just get water. I got to order something as well. Basic small hamburger was like 40 or 50 reals. Never saw it so expensive. Like in the South. And that's eight to 10 dollars if you're wanting to know. For small, I'm not a big one, just like small, like one piece of meat. I ended up going with a type of Japanese dish called yakisoba. Well, I've ordered here in like a month of being here. I picked the best place, 4.9 stars. I was started eating this. The person with me, I know he started eating some after a bit, after I started eating some, and immediately they noticed something. Cause I'm not used to this. I thought the texture was somewhat weird, but I guess I didn't think too much of it. I probably should have, but I'm still not registering and realizing what's going on. How bad the south of Brazil is. They told me to stop eating it immediately. They have experience, lived and grew up in Brazil. They realized it's probably left out for minimum one day, maybe two days, depending. The sound of it even, the color of it, definitely this was left out for a long time. I We looked at each other and I said, should I go vomit now then? Just kind of silent, yes. I never did that before. Really not a fun experience. I don't know how people do that for eating conditions. It's so horrible. They tell you there's high rated stars, nothing but food poisoning. I don't give a damn if people get offended. You can ask the Brazilian here with me. They'll agree the South is a piece of trash, it's killing people. We never saw so many people in the hospital. Yeah. Didn't even tell us. We're supposed to go in there and have a needle just like jabbed into us with medication. We don't even know the name of the medication. We're not told the potential side effects, what it's made of. And I'm sure there's a bunch of smart people out there who are like people in general saying, Oh, you should just trust your doctor blindly. Piss off with that. I've done enough research to understand how many people die every year in the United States alone because of malpractice by doctors. You don't just trust any person. We're all people. We're all fallible. They simply studied things the same way I've studied things as well, except they studied in a different form. And it pisses me off because you should at least be made aware of potential side effects and what this medication has done to other people in the past. Not even used on rats. What the side effects have been in other people in clinical trials and tests? No, they won't tell you anything. I had the first experience with this, blindly trusting a doctor. And I only did it because it was similar to amoxicillin. But I want to say something like that amoxicillin. And this medicine made us really bad in my stomach. Like messed us up and I looked it up after people said it's literally causing organ failure in some people. Why would we prescribe this? Are you joking? You call me nuts, crazy, conspiracy theorists, all you want. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna keep looking after my health the same way I saw YouTubers sometimes die from malpractice. I'm not even gonna get into that speak his name right now. That's really, really messed us up a lot. Seeing these people kill people because they don't know how to take care of cancer properly. Even, even though they have the direct technology and they see exactly what to do they don't apply it and do things properly i need to show this i'm sorry i didn't even show this here's what the noodles look like they're completely a weird texture it sounds really wet and like they've been out for a long time if you think it's normal yes there can be similar noises that for noodles in general but that one's of a slight different frequency not to mention the taste i don't think i have eaten noodles like this i ate noodles one time that was left out probably for eight or twelve hours maybe when i came to Bonaario, Cambodia at the bus stop there first meal there or Already saw, oh, that city's lovely, right? <laughs> this is absolutely more than that. This has to be probably day minimum. People die from food poisoning all the time, especially in Asia, especially in Asia. If you go to Asia, I cannot tell you how careful you need to be. Damn it, be careful. It's your life. You will never have that again. Don't risk it because of stupid people who are going to literally kill you out of their inability to work properly and be safe because their lack of IQ. I'm just really not okay with this. I see how many people get food poisoned all the time. I get it. Things can happen accidentally. When you intentionally leave food out, like, you should be arrested because you are directly intentionally harming people that's domestic terrorism isn't it i think so especially when you're dealing with all their lives it's like a doctor for example you have a child and that, that doctor just killed your child because he wasn't careful enough and he knew what he was doing even he didn't know you're supposed to know he's taking care of people you're supposed to be qualified just now i think i'm going to start classifying acts of food poisoning where people are I, i'm not talking about e coli accidentally getting your lettuce or your food and the government in the u.s orders wall Walmart to toss out a bunch of millions of dollars of sacks of food, right? Okay, that, that stuff can happen. Intentional food poisoning or people are intentionally not being careful enough and you try to even tell them. I've tried to tell people so many times in Brazil about the issues and dangers of food poisoning. Here's their response. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, 
Okay, uh, how's the weather actually? Literally, they don't want to know. They don't want to hear you because then they feel like they'd have to be responsible more. And that scares them. They don't want to be responsible. They want to act like it doesn't exist so they don't feel bad and blame. This is a big condition and issue with the humans. That's why this country is not changing. I have every damn right to say everything I'm saying in this video from the hell I've gone through in this country. Never mind a specific complex situation. Nobody cares, right? It's almost like we're not all people born on planet Earth and we shouldn't be able to just head to a country we'd like to like what this is crazy perhaps if tesla's ideas were actually put forth thoroughly maybe we wouldn't have such separation today but unfortunately that's not what happened it's sad to say this world is really difficult and most people don't speak like this vlogging but i don't want to vlog if i'm not going to speak from what's truly coming out of my mind i don't want to be fake it's not worth living anymore if you're always fake i'm trying to impress people the only thing that's worth it speaking the truth if i'm wrong it's easy for me to change my mind except the truth because i'm always aiming and focusing everything i am on the truth but if people are trying to be fake then it's nearly impossible for them to accept anything that would change their form of action right their form of of belief because what they try to make themselves believe is corrupt and wrong to benefit themselves when you base yourself on logic and what's actually happening in reality that won't be an issue you can always keep updating yourself this will probably be a video all on its own i've been speaking for 18 minutes and 58 seconds now i'm supposed to move tomorrow out of this place and take an uber ride ubers are so horrible here it's just gotten worse the further south i've gone ever since i went to parana kurichiba it got worse i went down to kanoas and i literally had the worst sandwich ever it's like human meat the consistency and texture of it i don't know what meat i was eating I never had a sandwich like that and it's just been getting more messed up every time i go further south i'm really scared to know what i've eaten before probably i'm a cannibal and bunches of people write cannibals because a lot of mess up stuff happens that you don't have any idea how common it is for someone to kill someone and go grind their body up to hide it and mix it in with their meat this is not just stuff you hear about happening in some company somewhere or conspiracy theories like people say this stuff happens i really hope this doesn't kill us or cause some major issue because these hospitals will kill us down here basically they won't take care of us we're better treating ourselves at home best thing we can do is drink a bunch of water that's what we don't have i don't even want to know what's in the faucet water it's so bad it's so bad here not as bad as sao paulo maybe but i'm not sure and sao paulo was horrible even brush your teeth with some of this water and it can start literally infecting your gums it's so bad i cannot describe this enough i know none of you watching will understand what i'm saying truly because you've not traveled to these areas and maybe if you travel to my country you have an idea more you need to travel to the country and truly live there on a normal wage and travel every state in different areas you will start to truly see problems everywhere at least i'm getting this information now but i know because it's how i would be you won't understand it fully until you go through and experience it you just won't it's a big issue with people having separate minds every experience that happens to each one of us stays with each one of us and the rest of us don't care so you can have people like me who have suffered so much and gone through so many things and have this different shaped brain by it whereas another person maybe didn't suffer at all and they completely have a different perception as a result and they see the world differently as a result war start we kill each other and we keep setting humanity back anyways this video has gone long and long enough 26 minutes and two seconds some forms of food poisoning can take 30 days to commence imagine going up to someone and saying oh the food i ate last week got me sick from you they'll look at you like you're crazy <laughs> imagine if you said the food i ate from your place last month got me sick can you imagine look on their faces it's it's, it's hilarious right people are really stupid stupid creatures aren't they not all people but too many people and when you are not researching this stuff you continue supporting it. all the bad stuff that's happening in the world you continue supporting it and it can also kill you easily when you do research and know about it you will see all the issues happening around you and you'll have the burden mentally of knowing about all this and not being able to do anything because you're by yourself and most people don't take the time to study about all these things and when you don't take the time to study about all these things you just live in a different perception of reality i know i saw you YouTube. I know no one's speaking about the thing I'm speaking about. I haven't watched every video, but I never saw anyone big. Maybe for a reason. Maybe I'm not gonna blow up. Right? Because it's gonna be too boring. I'm not speaking about this. I don't know. I guess end off the video. I got a haircut.
If you didn't notice, I cut it myself. If you don't notice size, and the person with me helped finish up tiny, tiny bit, mainly like in the back, because I couldn't see in the back. Other than that, I cut it all. The first time I cut basically all myself, and I was impressed with like able to not make it too horrible. That's pretty cool, at least, because I just had the basic front bathroom mirror. If I had more mirrors behind me, I could have probably done it all myself, but I think it's cool. Get practice, keep cutting it myself, and I'll get better each time. I improve slowly. I need to go get some rest and drink some water and pray. I don't wake up in the middle of the night wanting to vomit because I'm supposed to leave tomorrow and I know Airbnb I know people I know how things are I'll have to go through this moving trying to get out with a bunch of bags and finish packing while going through this and vomiting somehow figure it out and if I don't get out in time just basically toss your stuff out because the next person's coming in this is a nightmare I wish I had my own place to stay at I really do this is hard very hard